And welcome back. So Philip G asked the question, who would win the fight, the Winx Club or Avengers? Now, I'm using the movie Avengers, and I'm only using the original, uh, I think it's six or seven, uh, Thor. I mean, they're technically right there, but that the image is a little cut off. Um, Thor, Cap, Black, Iron, Hawkeye, Hulk. No, six. The original six, just because we keep adding them on, it's just too messy. Versus the Winx Club, which was a series, a game, and a um, uh, a book of series, if I'm not mistaken, or comic series. Uh, the series Witch Club, never watched it, really could tell wasn't going to be my thing, but they're essentially girls who can turn into fairies, they have lineages, they have powers. The leader is Bloom, whose powers are fire-based. Uh, Stella, whose powers are Sun, which is light and heat-based magic. Flora, which are for, obviously nature. Um, allows her to ma manipulate the environment, plants, things along those lines. Uh, Musa, which manipulates forms of music, uh, allows her to, um, you know, manipulate sound, uh, techno manipulate technology. That one I actually need to, I want to double check on because we do have one tech-based hero on this team. Uh, let's see here now. War of the Wake, blah, 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 blah. Personality, don't care. I want the powers. Uh... You'd be amazed how much uh, is behind this series. There's, there is literally like eight seasons of this show alone. Uh, let's see here now. Comics, magical abilities, fairy technology. It's her powers are technology based. The powers are entirely based on technology and digital energy. But on occasion, she's been known to control electricity. She creates shields of energy, digital cages, walls, and magic. She can throw blasts of energy and immobilize a person for a short time, cause them to explode. She creates digital holograms. Many times, used illusions trap. Takes able to manipulate any machine and is able to connect with different networks, which she can use as maps to help other uh, to help her locate other objects. She's able to generate, absorb, and read electricity. Uh, it's able to summon data from her palm. So she might be the one problem on this team, honestly, for Iron Man. She would actually be the big problem. Now, whether or not she could go up against AI as sophisticated as someone like Jarvis or not, that's a different thing entirely. Um... Uh, apparently, she also comes from a planet which has nanotechnology involved. Uh, there's also Aisha, which um, she is a fairy of the waves, so water's her uh, her bread and butter. And then finally, a fairy, uh, Roxy, who's a fairy of the animals, which I'm guessing her ability allows her to summon animals, control animals, and probably take on the traits of animals. But just so I'm not going to be yelled at or anything like that, let's actually look into what her abilities actually can do. Uh, magical abilities, fairy, so has animal based powers, can empathize with animals, feel their feeling, can calm them down if they are scared, hurt, or angry. She can speak to them and some of them telepathically. Can also greet animals, stop moving. Uh, she has been able to show and lend her magical strength to them. Uh, can make animals out of inanimate objects. Okay, that's actually a decent ability. Has been shown to use the white circle to enhance her power and some larger normal flocks, like flocks or herds of animals. Okay, so. Look, she's got some powers, but I'm going to be flat out honest here. The problem here is, yes, they're, they're high school girls, they're fairies. Uh, maybe they're older than they look. I don't think they are. And even if they are, they have the mentalities of high schoolers. They have to fight bad guys, sure, sure, sure. And I will fully admit that uh, Tecna uh, would give Tony Stark a lot of trouble. But that is why you don't. Uh, that's why Tony doesn't go up against her. Let's assume for a moment this fight actually takes place. The ones that are going to have the biggest problems are going to be Hawkeye and Black Widow, being the normal humans. Uh, and even so, in a straight physical altercation, I'll take any one of the Avengers over any one of these girls any day. Uh, but so you have that. Hawkeye has plenty of trick arrows that would be able to throw them off. And even if they are tech, it's something tech that wouldn't be able to immediately handle. Uh, so then, you know, maybe Black Widow comes and shocks her, or Thor comes and whaps her, Cap hits her with the shield. Cap might have some trouble, just because these girls can all fly, they're going to be keeping their distance. But assuming they try to take on Cap, you know, in a, in a manner that makes sense, going close enough to use their abilities on, he can easily toss his shield, it's vibranium, so none of them could do anything against that. They don't have an ability to stop that. Like, they don't have magnetism, um, metal manipulation, anything like that. You want the closest to that would be techno and electricity, and that is not the same as... Electricity and magnetism are related, but are not the same thing. Uh, but again, as I was saying, your biggest problems for them are going to be Iron Man, Thor, and the Hulk. 
Iron Man, again, is the only has to avoid Techno, which I think they can do immediately after he realizes that she can hack his suit. They immediately take her out. So that's the, that's the game on Techna. And after that, Iron Man alone could probably take out the majority of these people. Although, Tony gets cocky. That's why he's got two backup. And one of them being a god, and the other one being a god among men. The Hulk is nothing more than sheer rage and power. Now, in theory, you could get Roxy to maybe try to calm him down, but that's with animals. The Hulk, for all intents and purposes, is still actually human. So, that wouldn't work. And his sheer power, he can thunderclap them, just throw them, you know, uh, cause them to go off, uh, lose their balance. And then Thor can actually fly. And Thor's a freaking god who can summon lightning bolts down. His Mjolnir is forged in the heart of a dying star and therefore could probably just take their entire bodies out with a single hit. They have nothing that can stop Mjolnir if he actually throws the thing. So maybe they can diverge his course with, like, some uh, plants or, um, like, a fire or water bus. But that's probably close to it. Lightning? Like, Tekna's, whatever lightning abilities, like, Tekna's gonna be able to use won't do a damn thing to Thor. And then he's just gonna mow them down, quite frankly. Um, unfortunately, this is a pretty bad mismatch on the Wicks part. Uh, Wicks are gonna honestly get creamed here. They might be able to hold on alright, because there's more of them. I'll give the, uh, there is that. There is more of them than there are the Avengers. There's Bloom, there's, uh, Stella, Flora, Musa, Tekna, Aisha, Roxy, uh, I've got six, what the hell, maybe I was wrong, oh, no, 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 sorry, that's, that's seven, if I'm not mistaken, all right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, it's seven, okay, they got more people on their team than the Avengers do, so that's real good, one, two, three, four, yeah, okay, yeah, they definitely, yeah, they got more people by one, which can help, <laughs> they took on an entire Jadari horde, Ultron bots, um, uh, oh, crap, what are the, um, out, uh, Outlanders, uh, basically the, the hounds that Thanos sends at him in uh, Infinity War, and then did it again, so, yeah, one extra person of victory does not make in this scenario, uh, and unfortunately, none of, their, none of their abilities are, they're powerful abilities in their own right, but in terms of what the Avengers ultimately had to go up against, even just the first Avengers movie, that's not that impressive, uh, comparatively. Like, they're all unique, but there's ways around them, and as soon as you start picking them off one by one, their abilities dwindle, whereas the Avengers are quite capable all on their own. And that's not to say the Wicks, pro Wicks are, probably aren't capable of their own, but they're clearly, both these guys clearly work, our teams clearly work better as a unit, but the Avengers have been doing this shit solo for a lot longer than these girls have. So, they have a better shot on their own than the Wicks Club does. So, ultimately, yeah, I gotta go the Avengers on this. Especially when you factor Hulk and uh, Thor. And that's not even including Iron Man. Again, the only problem Iron Man has is Tekna. You take Tekna out, Iron Man could, in theory, just take all these girls out on his own. Uh, so, quite frankly, that's my thoughts on that. I think the Avengers kind of sweep this, quite frankly. What do you think? Do you think the Wicks Club could ultimately overpower the Avengers? And I'm just remember, we're talking the MCU Avengers here. Because, quite frankly, if I had gone with the comic book Avengers in any shape or form, they more than likely would have curb stomped the Wicks Club. <laughs> uh, because we're not just talking about the Core Six here, we're talking about everybody that's been on the Avengers. So, yeah, on sheer numbers then, yeah, no. And then on sheer abilities, God, like Wolverine would tear these people up. Uh, Spider-Man would have a field day with half these guys. Um, but ultimately, yeah, um, that is my thoughts on Doctor Strange, for God's sake. Uh, that's my thoughts on this fight. But let me know what you think. Do you think maybe the Wish Club wins, or is it just the Avengers all day, every day? I say Avengers all day, every day. I can be very wrong on that, and that's okay. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Those of you who want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a who would win. And hopefully I'll get the what if out tomorrow. Before I go see the rhythm section tomorrow for the movie this week. Till then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Later.